Okay, today we are putting in a barrel bolt ceiling with a groin joint in the middle here. So this is an L-shaped ceiling. Uh, one side, this side is wider than that area over there. And we're going to have a groin joint come here, meet in the middle, with a chandelier coming out of the ceiling. Um, first, let me go over the tools that you'll need for this. You'll need a, um, a router, and later on we'll show you how to attach it to uh, a piece of uh, material so that you can um, cut your <laughs> so so that you can cut your uh, your radiuses. No, so you can cut your arches. Um, we have already taken the time to rip um, the pieces for the arches right here. These are 13 and a half inches wide by 8 feet. We're just going to have to cut them. We're going to take some measurements so we know the length to go. Um, it's going to have a 12 inch rise. Yes, it'll have a 12 inch rise. <laughs> it'll have a 12 inch rise. And I will show you how to figure out what the radius would be in order to cut these so, so that they meet on the corner and in the middle so that the rise works out inside of these openings. Okay, first thing you need to do is take a measurement. Um, on this side here, we'll take this measurement. I've already taken the measurements and marked it out, but I'll take, I'll just show you now. This is 87 and a quarter. So what you want to do is transfer that to, to here, 87 and a quarter. Right there. So that's this line here. This side. going to be 58 and 3 quarters, and that is the line over here, 58 and 3 quarters. As you see, I have connected this line and that line with the laser level. Can you see that with the camera? No. No? Well, there's a laser level coming right through the center here. center of this opening and that is the center of this opening. So we've already found the center and we put a block in here um, to hang the chandelier from. So the next thing we need to do is <clears throat> now this arch here is going to go four inches beyond which is why I put this shelf here. You can see this is four inches from here to here. So we're going to try and um, get this thing set up so we can start cutting the arch. Okay. And we need 52 and 3 eighths. I've already done one on, there's a, there's a website which I will put in the, uh, you can see it below. And you can plug in all your numbers and it'll tell you the radius that you need. Makes it a lot easier than trying to do the equation itself. <clears throat> so first thing we need to do is mount the, our router. Now you see I have a quarter inch straight bit in here. We want to mount the router to this wood, to this piece here. And then we want to take the radius from here to here. And we'll We'll fasten, um, we'll fasten it here for a point to make our radius. So we can cut them all the same. All right, so what we have to do now, we're going to set up a jig so we can cut these arches. So I'm going to take a sheet of OSB. Okay, you're going to want this, um, this platform here to be as flat as possible. So you can watch me stumble around a little bit until 
to get it in place. Usually they have a, uh, a helper doing this, but he just didn't show up today. Somewhere slacking off. What we want to do is find a center line. Actually, another piece would be better. This might even be better on the floor. So we need some floor space to set up our jig in order to cut these. Creating a space, enough open space where I can do this. We have three different size arches we need to cut. Line. Now we have, we can just run our radius all the way back as far as we need to go. So like I said, the first one, our first radius is going to be 52 and 3 eighths. I'm going to add an inch and a half to that. We need an inch and a half. I'm going to put a 2 by 4 on the end of here in order to hang it off the ceiling. If you two and three hits, plus an inch and a half, it's going to be <laughs> 53 and 7 eighths. That's what my line is right there. The next one is 100 and a half inches. I'm going to measure back 100 and a half plus inch and a half is going to be 103 inches That's for the second one, which is this side. And the third one is 151 inches. Now what we want to do So since we have we've got this, this width here, we're going to add 8 inches to it. 57 and 3 quarters right.
58 and 3 quarters plus F would be 60, 66 and 3 quarters. So what we're going to do, Six and three quarters, half of that would be 60, 33 and 38. That's where our center is going to be. Line it up right on the center. Tack it in place. So what's that first one? 52 and 3 eighths. do is I'm going to drill a hole, a pilot hole, just big enough for the screw to slide in here and be able to turn uh, freely. Okay, so we need to attach the base of the router So this is where we want our screw to go through the board and into that particular, right onto that particular mark, which is a little bit difficult. So we'll use a longer screw that way. We'll be able to lift the material high enough so that we can see where the screw is going. Just made a perfect arch. Absolutely perfect. We're going to need four of these. So we need one to go against that wall, one to go against this wall, one in the middle, and one. 
one at the uh, at the at the corner. You want to put one about every four feet. So. do since we need four pieces we will copy what we have here a straight bit with a roller on the bottom which essentially that will follow what we have here it will follow along like so and cut the next piece on top of it exactly the same as the piece below it okay now we're going to take our next piece cut boards over here and I'm going to secure it with uh, three screws one on each end and one in the middle and because this is so thin it could actually uh, bend and you won't be able to, to uh, cut the same contour so I'll secure it this way Clamp it first because it tends to move at times, even though you're screwing it. You can clamp it, clamp it on both ends. And then put the screws in there. Like so. What you want to do is you want to have something to lift the material off of the surface here so that the bearing on the bottom of the router bit will not hit the surface. So this is what your bit's going to look like in order to duplicate. You see it has the bearing here and it just rides along what's already the, uh, the material on the bottom that just rides along it. Okay, so we've cut all of our arches, as you see here. Um, in order to get our groin joint, in order to get our groin joint, what we had to do is we had to measure from point to point, and we apply the same equation that we use to cut these. As you see, these are partially done. But that's what the end result will look like as far as the barrel section. Um, now we are working on the groin section. Well, the, the, the cross barrel. So what we're going to do first, what we've done first is we put in the, um, the arches on either end first. And then we're going to nail the 2x4s uh, in between the, the plywood to uh, form 
for the four funnels in front of the barrel. So let's uh, let's install that. the top of our arch is, consi is consistently level to the tops of all these arches so they all come down to the same spot. So what we're working with is 11 and 3 quarters from here to the, to the top of the arch. Let's take that measurement and then we're going to nail them. We're going to nail the board to the wall. It goes right down the center. So any, any center lines, you just match up with the laser. Makes things a whole lot easier. Also, what you want to do is you want to make sure the bottom, the tips of these arches all match up. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I am able to line, um, make a center line all the way down. Um, using a laser. As you see, I've marked the center on this side and on that side. So what we're going to do is we want to put the line of the bottom of the laser directly on the center line here. You might have to go over there. And then over there, if you can see that, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's another center line over there. And we want to line it up here. So that way, we have a line we have a laser line that goes all the way down, and we don't have to, you know, pop any chalk lines or anything like that. The laser is always there, no matter what. So that's how we center it up. So right now, what we're going to do is we are going to put on the, uh, the arch on that side so we can get started installing the whole thing. All right, so now we are going to install the arches. See if I restore that one, install that one, and now we're going to install this one. I'll show you how to do it. You see I have a line here, which marks the center. And I'm going to line that up with the laser. We want to measure about four feet from here. So we can put another brace.
over the next arch. I measure four feet. And we'll put the two by four, the bracing, across on the right side of the line. Anytime you're nailing something to the ceiling, if you have things hanging off, what you want to do is you screw it. You want to put screws in. I don't trust nails. Screws will always hold. Line this up here. Send it up here. What we're going to do is we want to hang another arch here. Center it up. Get our height, which would be 10 inches. inches here and we right on the center. Couple of nails there. I'm gonna get the height on this end. Which is right where it is. And check this side here. Right where we need to be. Perfect. That's going nowhere. Now we can put the other side on. So let me mark it here. We're going to get our 10 inches to the laser, laser line. And then we can start to nail. This side. where we need it to be, right here.
Don't do this at home, folks. Now we see our arches line up. Ta-da! Now we need to put in another brace over here. We're going to determine where the brace needs to go so that the corners line up. The very last piece. Walk with me on my journey. last piece right here. Let's get that fitted in there. Nail it up. Press it in there, get it nice and tight. Groin joints made easy. Thank you very much. Peace.